Disaster recovery with Cloudberry Backup has never been easier. In this video, we will show you how to recover an image-based backup as Azure VM instance. First of all, you need to create an image backup. Then, click the Restore button to get started. Next button in the Wizard's Welcome screen. On the first step, you need to choose Source Cloud Repository with Image Backup of the desired server. In this example, we will use Amazon S3 Storage to highlight cross-cloud disaster recovery scenarios. You may want to save this restore plan for future usage or discard settings upon job completion. For restoring as a cloud VM, we have to use image level copy. So choose option Restore Image-Based Backup. Choose the right image version. In most cases, like disaster recovery, you probably want to choose the latest one. The last checkbox allows you to skip backups that reside in Glacier Archival Storage, thus saving money. The next step allows you to choose the restore destination. The first one is restore server image as a data disk, which you can attach to VM manually or use for other purposes. The second, restore as Azure Virtual Machine. Cloudberry Backup will create and register a VM configuration in Azure, then restore all server drives and attach them to the newly created VM. We will use the Restore as Azure Virtual Machine option. Then, you should log in to Azure with your account. If you do not have one, go to the Azure website first and sign up for a trial. Then, choose Resource Group, Size, Network, and other parameters for the new VM. If some fields don't contain anything, create resources in the Azure Control Panel. Select the server's partitions you need to restore and the virtual drive size if the default value doesn't fit. In case your backups are encrypted with the password key, provide one to extract the data. You may also request notification upon job completion. When everything is done, proceed to checkout and start the job. The job is completed. Let's check the instance in the Azure Control Panel. Great, our VM is up and running. By clicking the Connect button, you can download the pre-configured RDP file, double-click it, and get access to the VM console. Login credentials are the exact same as on the source server. You can also reset the local administrator password in the Support section. That's it, and thanks for watching.